So let's start from the absolute basics. Broadly, if you look at the literature on the internet, there are two ways to define what a CV is. The more commonly understood definition comes from Wikipedia, which defines a CV as a summary of academic and professional history and achievements. If you look at the Oxford Dictionary, a CV is a noun which captures a brief account of a person's education, qualifications and previous occupations typically sent with a job application. Now this bookish definition of a CV is absolutely right and equally absolutely useless. In fact, I'd go so far as to suggest that not only is it useless, but misleading because it makes people think of their CV as a summary of their life's professional achievements. There is a better way to define a CV. And if you really search well on the internet, you will discover alternate ways of describing what a CV is. I'm going to quote Mark Senadilla on this, who says that your resume is a professional advertisement targeted towards your future boss with the goal of landing an interview for a job that you can succeed in. I think this describes the situation far better and it's worth paying attention to the different parts of the definition that Mark has mentioned. The first element of the definition is that it's a professional ad whose core job is to entice the recruiter to pick your CV and to interview you over every other profile that they find. Because it is marketing, all the core rules of marketing apply here. And as we go through the rest of the program, I'll try and tell you how you're going to apply those rules in this CV context. The second part of the definition talks about who it is targeted to. And you'll note that the CV is not targeted to you. It is not a summary of the person you are. Or to rephrase, it's not a summation of the person you think you are. The CV is not about you. It is about the recruiter, your potential boss, who is looking for a certain set of things, which means that the goal of the CV is not to present your entire profile, but to present those parts of you which are actually relevant for the job at hand and not present in a bland fashion, but in an impactful, specific number driven way that recruiters really love. And once again, we'll talk a lot more about this in the subsequent sections. The third part of the definition is that the CV is about landing you an interview and not landing you the final job. And this much would be obvious to you that a CV is not going to lead to a direct job. No CV is going to be so extraordinary such that the recruiter is so inspired that they, they give you a job offer up front. So in Mark's view, the goal of the CV is to land you the interview. Now, while I agree with that, I do differ with him on one point because the implication of this definition is to say that the CV has no bearings on the actual interview process that happens. But that's not really true. Almost all interviewers, while they're reviewing your CV for the first time, are forming an opinion, a story about you even before you've entered into the room. The CV plus the introduction forms the first impression that the interviewer has about you. And like all first impressions, they often tend to stick. Based on the initial indications that a candidate gives, they start forming certain hypotheses about the candidate. Things like, oh, it seems as if this candidate is good at XYZ things or has this kind of exposure or likes these kind of things or has this kind of a mindset. So they're making certain judgments about you based on your CV as well as your initial introduction. And the rest of the interview is often about proving or disproving this hypothesis, which means that if you create a good first impression, then your chances of cracking that interview actually go up substantially. And CV plays a role in this process. At this stage, let's hear from Astha Bindlish, the talent acquisition lead from Nestle, on the role of a CV for the final interview. See, a resume is actually a snapshot of an individual's brand. Okay, You have to make it exciting enough for the recruiter to feel the need to meet you. That's what the resume does. It acts as a first point of interaction with the hiring manager or with the recruiter. And if it, that does not go well, it takes a lot of effort at the individual's end to kind of convince, uh, you know, the organization uh, that they're fit for the role. So it's, it's the first impression that matters. In most situations, this is what helps you get the first impression right. So therefore, we're going to modify Mark's definition a little bit. 
a CV is a professional advertisement targeted towards your future boss with the goal of both landing an interview and improving your chance of cracking it for a job that you can succeed in. And finally, as you notice, the last thing that the definition talks about is at a job that you can succeed in, which is basically about career planning. To figure out whether this is a job that you can succeed in, you need to understand your own strengths, your own interests. You need to understand the job market and whether this kind of an industry is even interesting to you from a compensation and an overall growth perspective. And then you need to take a call. <laughs>